Elon Musk plans to build five full stacks of Starship this year. Buckle up and get ready for an out-of-this-world journey in view of the fact that SpaceX's plans for 2023 are nothing short of incredible. As the race to explore the final frontier heats up, Elon Musk's ambitious space company is gearing up to launch 100 missions this year while constructing new mega world-class rockets. With a perfect flight record and a history of breaking records, SpaceX is poised to make 2023 a year for the history books. So join us as we take a closer look at what's in store for the Starship program, Starlink satellites, and more, and see why space enthusiasts around the world are eagerly anticipating this exciting new chapter in human space exploration. In January 2023, Elon Musk shared the company's plan to build about five full stacks of Starship. The company has never flown a fully stacked vehicle with a super heavy rocket booster to space. Though it's a work in progress, Starbase teams are building multiple stainless steel prototypes each will undergo similar testing. Musk said they aim to manufacture five full stacks, translating to five flight-worthy starships and five super heavy boosters. But if Elon Musk's prediction is right, the company intends to increase Starbase's operational output in 2023. That is, five rockets and five spacecraft would be ready for testing all through the year. Though SpaceX's haste plans to go big, it could also contaminate night skies and pristine planets, as some scientists worry the company could jeopardize NASA's long-standing culture of safety. Obviously, increased production could be risky until the vehicle designs are fully validated. It's worth noting that the first full-stack test flight of the SpaceX Starship should occur from Starbase, the company's South Texas facility. The recent completion of the wet dress rehearsal milestone signifies that Booster 7, a super heavy booster prototype, and Ship 24, a Starship prototype, are prepared for launch at any time for their initial orbital flight. Booster 9 and Ship 25, which constitute the next full stack Starship, are already making progress towards their pre launch test objectives. Booster 9 has been seen at the launch site for proof testing and has since returned to the Mega Bay for engine installation. Meanwhile, Ship 25, the current partner of Booster 9, has already undergone proof testing and is back at Pad B at the suborbital launch site with its six Raptors, awaiting a static fire test campaign that will be concluded ahead of Booster 7 Starship 24's launch. It's important to note that Booster 7 and Ship 24 are distinct from Booster 9 and Ship 25. The former is the first full-stack Starship that is set to launch soon, while the latter is a new Starship in development that will fly after Booster 7's flight. With Booster 7 nearly ready for launch and Booster 9 in initial testing, SpaceX is on track to have two sets of Starship available for launch shortly. Although Elon Musk may have chosen not to publicize his plans for Starbase to produce five full stacks this year, the fact that Booster 10 is already in development with its methane tank currently stationed in the mid-bay and Ship 26 in the high bay suggests that they are moving forward without delay. One can see so many components for future vehicles stacked at the production site, revealing an untold number of vehicles in different states of preparation, including a swarm of nose cones. Given how long it took SpaceX to fully certify Super Heavy Booster 7, delays and uncertainties are inevitable. Of course, it's no longer news that SpaceX often misses its deadlines. Nevertheless, the company keeps progressing. Polaris Dawn is a planned private human spaceflight project operated by SpaceX on behalf of Jared Isaacman, the CEO of Shift4, a payment processing company based in the United States. According to the Polaris program's team, SpaceX's private Polaris Dawn mission to Earth orbit, earlier scheduled for late 2022, has been pushed to no earlier than July 2023. This space flight is called human space flight because it will be operated directly by the onboard crew members. The mission will last for five days. The flight will be using the Crew Dragon capsule and is the first of three planned missions in the Polaris program. Polaris Dawn will launch on a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the same launch pad that fired up Inspiration4, the first all-private crewed trip to Earth orbit in September 2021. Polaris Dawn will be the first crewed spaceflight to orbit Earth with only private citizens on board. The crew will consist of Jared Isaacman, Scott Poteet, Sarah Gillis, and Anna Menon. 
Mission plans include reaching an orbit higher than any previous Dragon mission and ultimately the highest Earth orbit ever flown by a crewed spacecraft with an initial apogee of 1,400 kilometers, breaking the record set by Gemini 11. The crew will conduct 38 science and research experiments to study the effects of spaceflight and space radiation on human health. The crew will also attempt the first commercial extravehicular activity, EVA, with SpaceX-designed EVA spacesuits. If all goes well, the mission will include the first commercial spacewalk, which will take place at an altitude of about 435 miles, 700 kilometers. Keep in mind that the International Space Station travels an average of 250 miles, 400 kilometers above Earth. In 2023, SpaceX plans to launch additional Starlink satellites into space. SpaceX Starlink is a satellite constellation being developed by SpaceX to provide satellite internet access. The constellation will consist of thousands of mass-produced small satellites in low Earth orbit to function in tandem with ground transceivers. SpaceX intends to provide global internet coverage by 2024 using a constellation of up to 42,000 satellites. The satellites will be manufactured at a new factory in Redmond, Washington. The Starlink system is designed to provide high-speed broadband internet to small user terminals. The terminals will be equipped with antennas that track the satellites as they move across the sky. With Starlink, you can communicate in real time with people all over the world using high-speed data such as video chats, online games, streaming, and other services. In general, users should expect upload speeds faster than ever before. To date, all Starlink missions have taken off atop SpaceX's workhorse Falcon 9 rocket, but that could change soon. The business is working to get its next-generation spaceflight system, Starship, a massive rocket-spaceship combo up and running as soon as possible. Other subsequent missions are numerous in 2023. The U.S. Space Exploration Technology Corporation plans a lunar mission in 2023 using SpaceX's Falcon Heavy carrier rocket to send a lander developed by the space startup Astrobotic Moon. The lander will be equipped with NASA's water-seeking lunar rover, Viper. At present, this launch mission is scheduled to be carried out later in 2023. If all goes according to plan, this will be the first lunar mission of the Falcon Heavy rocket. For NASA, the launch of the Falcon Heavy will be a key task in fulfilling the long-term goals of its Artemis plan of getting American astronauts to return to the moon in 2024. SpaceX likewise plans to conduct a crewed lunar flyby with Yusaku Maezawa, the Japanese billionaire entrepreneur and art collector using the Starship. You might wonder what's peculiar about the man. Well, he isn't related to Elon Musk. However, Starship is a crewed spacecraft being developed with partial funding from Maezawa. The flight, dubbed the Dear Moon Project, will include six to eight artists invited as passengers. Also, NASA plans to launch the Psyche spacecraft, an orbiter mission that will explore the origin of planetary cores by studying the metallic asteroid 16 Psyche in October 2023. Interestingly, it will launch on a Falcon Heavy launch vehicle along with Janus, a dual space probe that will visit two binary asteroids, 175706-1996-FG3 and 35107-1991-VH. SpaceX will continue to work towards their long-term goals of establishing a sustainable presence on the Moon and Mars through the development and testing of the Starship spacecraft as well as other projects in 2023. It will be interesting to see how SpaceX's plans progress over the next coming years and how they will shape the future of space exploration.